<laughs> semi-organized stream go <laughs> is what this feels like right about now. Hello everyone. Hello everyone in the future, in YouTube world, YouTube land, YouTubeville. <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing some polish testing today and maybe something on my nails because having a I'm having a peely issue um and of course if you would like to join us live you can come follow over on twitch.tv slash colette mslp I'm gonna get a tweet and a discord out to let people know I'm alive since I'm like an hour and a half late um Okay, tweet and also do a Discord. And we don't have a hand cam yet. There's gonna be a hand cam yet. I don't know which one it's gonna be yet. I'm I'm like on the fence, but I had to actually I've been so busy <laughs> watching Twitch. Super important stuff. Um I've been so busy that I hadn't like downloaded the files off my camera and like cleaned it off so I'm, I'm doing that right now and due to USB port limitations uh that's taking the port that the camera the webcam would plug into because I'm thinking about using the webcam for today since we're going to be water marbling I don't want to have to be worrying about whether the camera is going on or off for that so um give at everyone There is that, and I think I see chat. Hey, son. Hey, music gal. Hey, LJ. We will we will have a video soon, shortly, <laughs> momentarily. I apologize. I mean, there's no reason I couldn't have done this earlier, other than the fact that I literally just did not think of it. Um, until I was about to stream. So we're going to just do like a couple little kind of organizational things like get this water poured. We have the cup, we have the larger cup and, uh, I'm not sure how the marble testing is going to go because <clears throat> I did not remember to bring this water up here and I probably should have had my space heater on overnight cause it got kind of chilly today. And so it's not quite as warm as I would like in my room for uh, water marbling, blah, 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 water marbling purposes. Oh, boy, this is going really slow. Is it just because there's like a lot? There, I mean, there must be a lot on there. I think there's probably a couple of really long segments on there. I apologize, you guys. This is, I feel kind of like this is like a very naughty thing to do as a streamer to like start up stream without my main, no, my main, my main thing happening. And I'm not going to like make this like that's not happening. <laughs> um, mm. Oh, is it that, uh, uh, what, what have I seen that stuff called spider, spider gel sunburn? Like you get it and it like stretches I've seen so many cool things using that on Instagram. Bored to tears while your husband's flying his RC plane. Well, I hope I can uh, unbore you. I, I promise there will be pretty things to look at shortly here. Hey, Amethyst. Yeah, oh, that, that was such a fun stream, Sunburn. Uh, Mama Crotron or Momtron or uh, uh, Crow Mom or whatever. I mean, there I don't know. There was a whole bunch of different variations. I should have asked her which one she liked, or maybe she said and I just wasn't paying attention. Um, 
Dr. Croton, of course, was not pleased with his time, but I thought it was a very good run for being a, a D restaurant. Okay, we're of, we're at 95 of 119 images downloaded off of my camera, so progress is being made. <clears throat> Yeah, that's the thing. I wish there was something kind of more like it for regular polish LJ. I mean, I guess old, thick polish, but something where that is, in fact, the intended consistency. I've wanted to kind of try it, but, I mean, mostly I've only used gels for pigments. I guess, I don't, I don't know. If, I guess it hasn't quite risen to the level of cool enough, and I want to do it enough to, you know, actually go and search out any and buy any, but then... I really haven't been buying much polish. I honestly, you guys, I haven't even gotten anything from the Zoya Earth Day Exchange yet. And uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the month here. And I'm like, you know, am I going to suck this up and buy it? Or am I going to, you know, try something else to try and work out this camera solution? Hey there. Hi there, Beanie. Good boy. We have been be blessed by the bean. Here, let's let's fix your let's fix your blanket, homie. There you go. Hi. And for anybody, I've had like a few people of you guys ask me like how Clark and Beanie get along. Oh, maybe that's something we could do. No, the last time I tried to do that, it didn't want to show what I was looking at. I could try it again though. Do I still have that up? The uh, I put up the polish in motion of the uh, Don't Kale My Vibe. Um, okay, wait. Okay, wait. Where's the window capture? Okay. Now, what are you cropped like? Why are you cropped like that? Let's uh, uncrop it. Like that. Well, it doesn't need to be quite that uncropped. How about like about like that? And then we'll do like this. And I'm a, I think I'm gonna actually mute this because I'm gonna be talking. Um. Can I? Oh, there we go. Maybe just a little bit of a. There. So this. This is good. This is good. Uh, side sideshow while the while the camera's doing its thing um yeah well and the thing with zoya is i mean they eventually retire some of their shades but the colors i'm looking at are like just from the past holiday collection so it's not a company where i'm worried they're gonna like discontinue something and i'm not gonna be able to get it um and they have good sales all the time but like this would be the first uh earth day that i like haven't bought anything from them since i started um, right here, right there, you can see that burgundy flash in, uh, in this polish. I was very disappointed to find, I apparently didn't take any indoor pictures with like a flash. I just, I just didn't apparently. Oh God, no, don't judge my tabs. Don't judge me, you guys. <laughs> I shouldn't have uncropped it to there. I, I forgot that most people don't have that many fucking tabs open. Okay, there are the boys. So, like I said, I mean, every now and then they'll get a little bit rowdy, but they're they're capable of just hanging out together. You know, they're pals. They love each other. Clark is still a puppy. A little adorable boy. So cute. So, for you guys that asked, how do they get along? Usually like that. Every now and then, not like that. <laughs> okay, and then wait here. Wait here. We got a really good one. Oh. I mean, it's it's kind of a crap picture, but, like, look at the color. Like, because my... my uh, I, I just... It just didn't want to quite take a good picture, but I thought it was worth it for the color. It, I was in the shower, so... <laughs> it was steamy. I tried to make it, like, not as hot as I usually do, but it still was, like, it steamed up the camera. And I tried just, like, running my hands under a faucet, and the droplets just aren't the same. Like, you need the pressure of the shower to create the proper droplets. This is gonna have to go in phone jail. There. 
Hope you don't mind, Benny. Um, yeah, I mean, if Cl if Clark came up here, he would probably be able to have a little Clark cam. A lot of the times, he's just laying around downstairs. He's a very mellow pupper. So, okay, how is this? Why is this taking so long? It's at 99 of 119. Okay, it's at 100 of 119. At least it's moving. <sighs> anyway, so today we're going to be... I want to try and water marble with the oil slicks. I also want to try and water marble with the... Uh... Excuse me. Uh, the Whatever Forevers. I mean, not like the whole entire collection. And I also want to just try like a little bit of fluid art with my little oh this isn't what I thought it was no oh my god I feel dumb fuck live 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 things are happening I was looking and looking and looking and oh my god and here comes Dr. Crotron just at my moment of of worst stupidity oh my oh my god ninja you're supposed to be a mod what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's that's <laughs> very different from Dr. Curtron's usually no raid message no raid message oh my god you guys hi hi more people to witness my disaster I am uh <laughs> I'm I'm being a very dumb streamer today I forgot to yeah, well, <laughs> this, no, this, this disaster, well, it's not really a disaster. It's just, I feel kind of silly about it because I should have been downloading the pictures off my camera while I was watching Dr. Crotron and his mom. And instead, I remembered as I was going to stream and I had to, um, I mean, I suppose I could just make the beanie cam bigger. Like right now, I guess it's the same size as this, so we could just go like this. <laughs> for the time being um and I don't know maybe it's because I'm streaming although my, my computer doesn't seem to be struggling I think it's just because there's some really big files on there it's taking a really long time to download stuff off my camera and due to USB limitations I literally don't have another USB port to plug anything into until whoa until that's done I was sitting here trying to be proactive and hook this up and I almost dropped it into the cup of water I just poured out. I hate this extended... Well, I don't hate it. I mean, I, I like it. But, like, I have this uh, hot shoe extender and it works pretty good, but it's always getting loose. And then I gotta, like, find something I can shove in there and use as a screwdriver. <clears throat> I mean, he's not... It's too bad you... Are, can you do something, Vanny? Can you do something entertaining? For the people say I could look cute I could get petted I can maybe help you show off your nails no because the, the sun is the sun is too strong also yeah see that lost a couple peelies man the sun is really really very strong it's weird <laughs> anyway um you know we've been we've been struggling with our camera issues here the last few days and i think today we're going to just be using the webcam even though it does not have the ideal uh you know color balance because i'm going to be water marbling and i don't want to be worrying about whether or not the cam what what the camera's doing you know how do I have sun? I mean, it it looks nice. It's kind of chilly out today, but it's... <laughs> no, not here. I Anytime anybody has mentioned this S word, I'm like... <laughs> no. I'm done with... I'm done with fucking snow. I'm aware, Dogmaster. We had 
would it have told allowed to be at the airport? Like nine inches or something? Like a week and a half ago? I live in Minnesota for anybody who doesn't know. So snow in April is not like a weirdo thing, but we're not, we're not getting any more now. It's too late in April. And, uh, I've been weeding out my strawberries. Like it's gardening season. It's, there needs to not be any more snow. Okay. We're at 115 of 119. You guys, the, the camera is almost ready to be done. Yeah. I know sun posted pictures of snow. I know Luke last night had like a hella thunderstorm. It was really loud during stream. And then he said that after stream sometime during the night, he actually lost power. So. Yeah. I'm like when it, the last time when it snowed, like you looked out there and it still looked kind of like you didn't know what season it was. Like everything was gray and gross, but things are like greening up now. There's a lot of stuff that's growing a lot. Like the snow needs to just move the fuck along and go away. Sixty, sixty-three. Sixty-three is not even that. I mean, sixty-three in the sun is really, really nice. Oh, look at this neck stretch we got going here. <laughs> this is gonna spoil you guys. What am I? What am I? What are we gonna do when the bean cam goes back to normal size here? <laughs> oh man. I can't believe this camera is taking this long, but also just imagine if I had just been sitting here waiting to stream until this thing finished. Instead, at least I get to hang out with you guys. <laughs> we'll just put, we'll just put the nail, the nail cam right there. <laughs> It'd be a big old bean cam. Mm. Beautiful 33. Let's, let's see here what temperature it is outside right now. I don't think it's bad. Weather.com says, my phone is so slow, y'all. I mean, it's old. Good phone. Nice phone. <laughs> slow phone. The current temperature is... Forty-eight and partly cloudy. So it's a little bit of a lie. It's not quite as nice as the sunshine is making it feel like. Man, it's it's really washing out your cute little face, Beanie. Do we need to? Yeah, I think we need to. Like, no, that's still your face is still in sunshine. Like this? No, God, am I going to have to close it the whole way? Oh my God. How is the sun coming in from this far over here? There. Now we can see Bean. <laughs> Seriously. Mm. Okay, we're at 117 of 119. These last two images and or movies are certainly taking their fucking time. He like opened his eyes like when I cursed. Wow, you could see that like moat of dust coming through this, this part of like there. See on my hand <laughs> where the sun line is? making it look all dusty. I mean, it is got a lot of cat hair in here, I'm sure. Hi. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when and when it's that wet snow, it sticks on everything and it's really pretty. The low 90s. Oh my god. It's only April. The magnolias are blooming here. Do they have magnolia trees other places? Or is that like a northern thing? 118 of 119, y'all. I lost one of my peelies. Not just lost off my finger. Lost like I don't know what the fuck happened to it. I'm pretty sure it's in this room somewhere. I just keep like expecting it to like show up just like sitting in the middle of the carpet or something. Where was I? Here. Here I'm in the sun. We'll see. We'll see if that actually is bothersome once we get going. 
I might have to close the window or the, the shade all the way, the curtain. The thing over there that's letting the sun into my room. Um, okay, so I showed you guys that. We're almost done with this. We'll get the nail polish out. So, and I'm not sure, like I said, I kind of want to try a, uh, a fluid art of some kind, but I'm not sure what colors. So depending, I don't know, we'll see if that actually happens or not. I mean, it could even do some, oh, you can't see what I'm doing yet. I'm so used to having the camera. I'm like already wanting to show you guys stuff as I'm pulling it out. I feel like the drip marble might benefit of mixing the collections together. So, still sitting there at 118 of 119. Whoa, oh, okay, that's fine. As long as it's not the water spilling, everything is fine. Okay, so, am I missing polishes? How many polishes is this? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Um, okay, where, what's missing? It's Don't Kill My Vibe. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Okay, yay, camera is done. So let's do this, and let's do this, and let's do this. We need to uh, clear out all these videos so that we have some room on the memory card. If we do do something that gets recorded that way. And then we can get rid of that. And we can add this. And we can all probably do that and then do like this and then do some of this here and then, um, sorry, can't, can't see my screen that I'm trying to adjust here and then do this and then do this and then do this, this. And this, 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 and, okay, I'm sorry. Don't be mad, y'all. Back to small bean cam. Okay. So, we'll just keep this handy right here. Oh, going off to pet cats. That's an excellent, that's an excellent reason. So we've got some things to play with here. We've got lots of things here. Um, like we got, so basically for those of you who are just joining us or haven't seen these collections in action before, we have the whatever forever pastel neons and we have the oil slicks so these are all I kind of like these together I wonder what if we'd like did like a hmm I kind of want to play with those in the fluid art and like with something darker like probably like that would be really great and then maybe something else just like a little bit lighter like maybe even like oh you guys can't even see what I'm doing here Mm. like these four and I think I mentioned I've switched back to um, the webcam for right now just so that I'm not fucking around with it I mean this is not a bad webcam I would not diss this webcam or anything um, it just is not quite as color accurate as I would like it to be and of course the lack of zoom has always uh, <laughs> yeah, we got to show the pretty colors too, Dogmaster. 
The lack of zoom has always been the most frustrating thing with this one. You know, and right here, sometimes too, um, I, I, and this is, a, 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 blah, blah, blah. I can tell from the way my hand color is shifting that it's struggling with the white balance. And we had considered at one point like locking the white balance and we kind of decided against that. But that is something that we could possibly revisit if I stick with this camera. Another thing is like it's pretty color accurate right here. Like you can see all those different lights. Sometimes when you put colors next to each other, it gets, you know, harder to differentiate. Like you don't really see this purpliness to the same intensity in this anyway i'm, I'm not gonna i'm gonna try not to complain too much about camera stuff today oh wait but i just i completely forgot dr crotron came in with his raid and he made me forget how dumb i was um we have hollow this hollow just seems to stay on the desk it looks even prettier under a flashlight. Nobody clipped that. How did nobody clip that last time? I, I, okay. I, maybe I've told the story before. We got the liquid latex. It comes in a little jar. I had a hell of time getting it into a bottle. I bought little syringes to help me the next time I need to put latex in the bottle. I thought I could use these syringes to do fluid art. I can't find the syringes. Mm. Is bean cam slightly bigger than face cam? Oh, it is. I don't think that's right. I think this is what's wrong. Like that? No. Why? I see the little thin black line. I see it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's not even that window. That's the background window. Or is that part of the webcam? Is it? No, that's the wrong goddamn window again. I have so many windows right here. That? No, now it overlaps, doesn't it? Yeah, can't have that. Dang it, wrong window. This one. C4. Is that a Twitch baby? It's a Twitch baby. <laughs> I'm glad you guys still love me and put up with me through it all. C4, welcome in and thank you so much for having a Twitch baby with me. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Dr. Crotron and I had a Twitch baby today and Dr. Crotron and Luke had a Twitch baby today. We're sitting here, I mean, this is not even camera problems. This is just lining things up exactly problems. Dang it, not that one, not that one, this one. There. Flush. Or did it look better with the little tiny line? Was all this in vain? <laughs> um. So yeah, so I, I bought these it wasn't even long ago. It was like a couple weeks ago. You guys, I don't have a fucking clue where I put them. I mean, I'm sure it was someplace that made so much sense at the time. Um, I just, I don't even know. And then I thought I found them. I found this little thing right here. And, and they're not... These are not the syringes. These are the pens I bought to make my own oil pens. And I didn't even notice until I was literally about to open it and pull out a syringe that I noticed that there were not syringes to pull out of that bag. I'm wondering, maybe... Are they in the miscellaneous box? I mean, I have a lot of... The, box, the boxes up here 
need a little bit more organizational marking. Some of them are very well labeled, like the label maker and accessories box. I know exactly what's in there. The pinking shares box and the hole punches box. I know exactly what's in there. One is labeled stickers and miscellaneous, but it's too far down. I don't think I would have gone that far down to put something away. This top box here isn't even marked. All right, hold on, you guys. Um, let's move this. Oh, the top of my desk is a disaster area. I've got like three things of pen holders up here, full of pens, of course, because pens are awesome. Would be so good if they're in here, but I bet they're not. What's in here? Soak off finger clips. Um, an old dotting tool case. Oh, hey, I maybe should take these out. It's my toeless pedicure socks. And I need a pedicure. Um, some old school. Y'all want a blast from the fucking past right now? With your fancy dancy fucking clear stamper heads nowadays, I want you to just take a moment to appreci appreciate this hard rubber fucking Conad old school tiny stamper. <laughs> it's so small. Look at it. Anyway, that's what's in here. It's like a bunch of super old and crappier stamping stuff that I don't even use on much of a basis anymore. The Salon Express plates are in here because damned if they're going in my holder with my plates that are actually worth a damn. Damn. I should, I, hold on. Is there, there's a thingy right here. What else is in here? Just like a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. And that's why boxes end up getting labeled miscellaneous stuff because I can't literally write out like old Conad stuff, old cases, small clippy things, miscellaneous toe separators. What is this, like a note? It's like a note about something that I need to decipher if it even matters anymore. Oh, hey, look it. Hey, what are you still doing in here? You guys should probably not be in here. There's some nail art brushes in here. There's my new cleanup brush in here. You can tell this one's looking a little bit ratty when you see it right next to... If I can get them at the right angle. It's not really too bad, though. Which is why I haven't switched it out yet. But I have that ready to go. My X-Acto blade is in here. I mean, I don't know. How do I how do I label that? Oh, my pipettes are in here. Look, Doc, if you're still here. Look, I got I got pipettes just like you use. God, they're like so hard to see. Just like Dr. Crotron. Can't find Jackson. No. No petting. No petting. So here's what I was saying before. I've lost three peelies. I have two of them. The other one is literally lost. I didn't, I wasn't really ready to say goodbye to this manicure, but these decals. I did eat a pretty greasy burger yesterday. I mean, you know, it wasn't like dripping in grease, but you know, when you have a burger and it's good and your hands are a little bit greasy and yeah, the peel off. Peel off is not too much of a fan of that. I do have a label maker. Well, these are not permanent labels yet. Because stuff keeps getting moved around. Okay. Old. Stamping. And. Miss. Miscellaneous. And we'll stick this oh oh is it under there <gasps> oh you guys what if i just found it what if i just found it what if what if beanie's hiding it nope that's only just just more nail polish and so is that one fuck 
I thought that was the solution. Some days I feel like I have too much shit and then some days I just feel like I'm not well organized enough. But I'll tell you what I'm not going to do is buy more syringes because they're in here somewhere. Like, and it's probably in such a lodge. Oh, are they in here? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Are they in here? No. 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 I just... I remember having them. What did I buy them with? Something weird. And they were sitting around for a while and I was like, I need to put these somewhere so they don't get misplaced. And... Plus, like, there's... See, this is like, I feel like I'm mid organization. There are two shoe boxes that I don't know where they are. And the fact, like the fact that I now also can't find this makes me think that there may be in that, those shoe boxes. Like, I just, oh. I just can't imagine where they got stashed like somewhere logical and out of the way but I don't know I don't know so actually it doesn't matter if those look like they would go well for fluid art because I don't want to try that without the syringes and I don't know where the fuck the syringes are I mean wait are they no no, not in there. No. Can I just... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Are they here? Are they here? Did I stick them right here within handy arm's reach? No. No, I didn't. Okay, I give up. I officially give up. <sighs> gotta head out all right dog master thank you for hanging out i'm sorry we didn't get to do anything cool any like cool nail art i mean we got to look at some cool polishes look at how the colors just my hands my skin tone just fucks with the white balance on this camera it does not do that with the other camera a little, little bit irritating a little bit okay so let me just stick this cord away. Yeah, the large bean can was pretty good. This drawer would have also been a good place to put them. Like, I'm coming across so many places where it's like, this would be a great place to have put these. And... Oh no, those are just cords. And it's, it's not in any of these great places. So like... Is there a better place? I just... Maybe I should look in this one other box here. Because... This box would have been down the other day. Actually, so would that box. Can this fit right here? Yeah, nothing got in here while it was down. And this box. No, this box is exactly what it's supposed to be. It's got all my rhinestones and stuff. It's got my wax pencil. There's nothing extra in here.
<laughs> can see the the secret white spot. I said I gave up, but I didn't really give up. I'm waiting for like inspiration to strike me once more and be like, oh, of course. <sighs> but when you wish for inspiration too hard, you generally don't get it. Lurking from afar. All right, C4. Thank you so much for popping in. And thank you again for the resub. The nine month, holy crap, resub. <clears throat> Yeah, no, that's another one of the logical places. The liquid latex is actually right over here. The small bottle and the large bottle. And there's not, like there's not really anywhere over here that they could, that it could be. It should be, it should be. What, okay, let me take one second. Let me look and see. What did I buy them with? I feel like that would be the clue. Yeah, delivered March 14th. I bought them when I got the 922. I just don't. Wait a minute, where? No, cause. Oh. I just came, I recall coming across the box the 922 came in and recycling it like two days ago. So the syringes should have been right with them. Ow. You ever just like <clears throat> bash your knee against something that you know has been in the same place for years and years and years? I Yeah, I was going to say I don't think I would want to try and do that. I'm not even into it. I'm calming for you. I'm so glad, C4. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> I can't, I can't do that on stream. My brain is just like, where the fuck could they be? Oh, you know what? Okay. One, one more, one more check. Okay. Because. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. I found him. Oh my God. I dropped him. But I found him. I feel so much better now. <laughs> God damn. That was the dumbest place ever for them just to have ended up. That It was not in any of the good spots. It was in a completely, completely dumb spot. I had two baskets, a larger and a smaller basket. And the smaller basket has scarves, you know, head scarves rolled up in it. The small basket had been placed inside the large basket. Why were these slotted in between this little narrow spot in between the baskets? Somebody please tell me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did he actually react? Half the time he doesn't even care when I yell. You got, oh, I got any sympathy? Yeah, you sleepy boy. Did I mess up your blanket? Look all wrinkly on camera. Okay, y'all. We can try this. I found it. I found it. Mm. So, like, the thing with fluid art, for those who have not seen it, it's like you pour a bunch of paint in a cup and you pour it out and you do cool stuff with it. 
very similar to drip marbling, which is what got me thinking about it the other day when we were drip marbling. Um, but like with nail polish, like it's not like you have like a big old bottle like you do with acrylic paint. So I was like, man, that seems like it could be like, you wouldn't want to do a whole cup full, but how do you get it to like pour if you don't have like a, a goodly amount? Should we put in the blue too? Maybe, maybe we should. So, um, ooh, or this one. That one's really sheer and kind of pink. We haven't used that one before. So I had this thought to like take the syringe and the syringe would like, you wouldn't need to pour it because you would be able to syringe it. So let's take a look at these. I haven't used any of them yet. They're small. They're, you know, like this, this big. They, uh, seem to have a pretty nice tight bit. Can I just pull you out? Yeah. With the stopper. What is this? Like some kind of condensation, lubricant, weird shit. What the hell? We're just going to, I'm just going to take some of these. I'm going to put them, um, frostbite get lost uh can you not on the vine and we'll never be royals i'm just gonna take some and just try it and see what the fuck happens and what the fuck happens will inform our next actions and this is also given the time the time giving the water time to come up to temperature since I uh, did not really have it sitting out in my room for very long before I started stream. Okay, you guys. Now, I think something similar to like the amount used for a drip marble would be appropriate. I don't know necessarily how loading them might be best, so I'm just going to kind of like... apply like a generous glom like that oops you see where i got a little bit of the other color on there don't contaminate your polishes i'm trying to like stroke it so that it strokes cleanly but i am getting a little bit of a uh, leftover so i'm just wiping them off before i put them back in the bottle Maybe like a second round of it. Or I could just like drip it like this and then I wouldn't have to wipe it off. Can you guys see how I'm kind of... I hope you guys can see. Oh, I should have... Well, it's not... It's Actually, it's not a problem. I was going to say, I should have done something to block up the end of this. But it's not really enough polish to... Okay, can you see it in there? So it didn't really start like flowing out the end. I'm going to put my finger kind of... Well, if I just do like this, if I keep it bent like that, I should be able to kind of get this back in there. See how clean this will... Oh, look at that. You guys see where it is? Look how clean it's pushing it in there. So we're not wasting very much. Now, that's interesting. I even actually got a few cells, even though I didn't really use anything to make cells. And then you kind of swirl it, swirl it around like you would with a drip marble. Look at those cells. How did I get cells without any kind of a effects polish or without any silicone? Let me, uh, where, where's my close crop?
there. The little round parts. They're hard to see on camera. I like this though. Can you guys tell the difference between this and the other technique? I'm just trying to stretch this out a little bit more while it's still wet. I think I would like like a little bit more polish. I wonder if I should use some of my silicone too. I actually know exactly where that is. Or if I should somehow try to intentionally introduce more bubbles. Is that where the, is that where the cells are coming from? See these little round? Hey Ladybug Stitch, thank you for the follow. Like, there's not a lot of cells. It's not an impressive amount. But they're there. Um, I think, like... Get rid of this purple. I want to try that again. So, I'm just going to... Ooh, nice sound. And again, like you see how clean the uh, the syringe is. Oops. So it's not like there's a bunch of polish sticking to the sides. I've got a little bit left in the tip. But if you're doing like multiple decals, that wouldn't be a problem. I wonder... I could maybe... Let me try this. Of course, there's polish there. Let's wipe that off. Can kind of blow it out i'm sure i could also probably obviously just splash a little acetone in there and swish it around and squirt it out okay let's just try four colors a little bit heavier on the drippiness and uh try to stay at a good angle so you guys can see so let's just do like this And if you were really like loading in a lot of polish, you might want to like hold your finger or use a piece of tape over the end of the syringe. But because I'm not using like that much, it kind of, oops, is just settling down in the corner and it's not really going to leak out. I'm going to try and do like a little more of a little tree ringy pattern. I don't know if I can quite do it. It's like it's hard to completely keep the flow of it steady. Like your application of the plunger. Maybe just like a little bit more of this turquoise at the very end. All right. Woo, splooge. Um, okay. So like it's coming out before I want because it's like pooling to the bottom and I'm like pushing air out. Can you hear the bubbles? I'm kind of just going with it, even though it's not what I was planning, because I'm trying to see if I can get some more cells to form with the whoa bubblierness. Yeah. I mean, these are kind of cool to play with. If I were going to do a manicure, I would want to use some slightly different colors, I think, because these are very similar to the one I just did. See all these cells, though? In this here area that's really cool like here it feels a little bit too mixed i don't know how you're supposed to like control that all right i want to try one more and i think i want to try it in some different colors so let's see if i can easily clean this out i mean i have a few more but i wouldn't want to you know this is not like a one-time use 
situation. Um, we'll put them here for now. Yeah, I really, can I get, yeah, there, that's a good shot of them. Some up here too, like those little rounded areas. And I think it's just because of the way that I was getting some kind of bubbles as it was popping out. A lot different from drip marbling, actually, like more, more different than I expected it to be. All right, let's get that a little bit of acetone. Now, okay, I don't think the plunger probably has to be, excuse me, that clean. I'm going to use my finger to just like plug the end and try to just like, do I need to pour this directly in there? I feel like I should be able to drip enough in with a Q-tip, but that like actually might not be a thing. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb, you guys. I'm so dumb. Guess what? This is this is a syringe. Guess what we can do with a syringe? Just suck up a little bit and fucking stir it around in there and shake it. I'm <laughs> Why did it take me that long to think of that? So we just got the whole little tip like that and we're just cleaning it up. And it's not like a ton. I think I'm just going to go ahead and squirt it on my paper towel. If it was much more than that, I don't think I'd want to do that. Because, uh, you know, the whole thing would be wet. Okay, that got it pretty clean. Might need like a second swooshing, but that's pretty clean. Part of that's on the outside too, so not a big deal. Okay, so... What if I were to go full pastel? Like the green, the bright blue. Of course, this, this would be leaning quite toward the other one that we did. That's okay. Let's, let's throw this in there. That'll, oops, you guys, you're not quite where I am. Let's see what happens with, should I do this or should I add the purple or should I do the purple instead of the blue? Whoa, dropping my syringe. Where did it go? Oh. For single use? Um, sorry. No. <laughs> I kind of like that. Let's go with that. Yeah, like there's several things. Oh, this is so stuck again. When you're kind of doing the fluid art, at least this way, that are like factors. Like if you tip the syringe first, you'll be pushing the polish out with a lot of air. If you push the air out first and keep the syringe kind of tilted, then you can have kind of more control over the polish. So, I don't know. We'll see how this one turns out. Try to get a good amount of polish in the syringe. I can't wait to play with my polishes that actually have some cells to them, though. Um, like those sinful colors, something special effect thingies. Okay, so we're just loading this up here. I wonder if I should do a third round of drips since I'm only using three colors. That might be a good idea. Yes. Yes. I was kind of disappointed. Like a part of me would have loved for them to have those in just like a black and a white. Cause what was it? Dark purple, light purple, Red, navy, and gray, I want to say. So, I don't know. Let's 
Okay. I'm going to try and do this one. Oh, it's oozing. It's oozing. Mm, it's oozing. Um, I guess that's more polish than I thought. So now I'm like holding it like this and I'm kind of just letting it go down there. But once I get the syringe in, like it'll start pushing it. Like as soon as it's in there. Come on. Okay, get the rest of the way in there. Ooh. Press. Ooh. Um, I mean, some things happened there. Oh, and we're getting cells in the middle again, too. The tree ring actually was going well for a while. Like, you see all these, these stripes here? That was from that initial, like, bloop, I was doing. I don't really like these colors together. I, I will say that I was trying to be unique, but that's why that's why I go with colors that I know I like together because this just turned out poopy. I mean, like there's some good patterns in there, but as far as the colors, they look like shit. I just thought of another idea. I'm gonna try to I might need another lid I got the clear lid so I could also see what was going on, on the back side but it doesn't really seem to be anything different than what's going on on the top side um room to dry please okay yeah maybe I should not add them multiple times multiple drips of each one I have another idea I want to try though I just thought of. Also, hello, Mrs. Shredo. Welcome on in. We'll try it with some of the neons. I don't know if this will work at all, really. Like, so if I were to, let's put this away. I don't want to use that anymore. Let's maybe just bring this back in here. Or maybe just the actual yellow. been lurking well that is always appreciated also i hope you're doing well kind of got polish all over my fingers but if i like can i I wanted to see if I could like suction up polish and like kinda you can. It might be easier like directly from the bottle. Cause like having all the air in there, of course even this gets you a lot of air in there. I feel like that is kinda, see that's all that I managed to suck up what if I go directly the problem is it's like not easy to pull the syringe and I couldn't get directly in there like I'd have to try and suck it off the brush or something that sounds dirty don't mind me or I need to just like do this at even more of an angle this is probably gonna be awkward to keep on camera yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't want to pour out. I mean, like, even this is kind of like a lot of polishes be pouring out. In fact, I wonder if I can, can I, like, scoop that up and put it in here? Maybe. <laughs> there we go. 
Huh. That, that might work too, Amethyst. Like to get it a little bit deeper. It's hard to suck it up though. Like it's like the syringe is tight, which is good because then you don't get like a bunch of residue on the sides when I'm doing it this way. Um, but it makes it harder to squeeze. So let's try this and see if I can get this to work the way I kind of want it to. I'm at like a super shallow angle, like just enough so that the polish doesn't flow back out of the thingy. green whoa a little bit more yellow and blue whoop and I don't know if y'all can hear that but Clark is mad at somebody all right get this in there and then like almost tilt it upside down so that I can get the air out get in there whoa I feel like this is gonna be whoa there we go get the air out can you see how the polish is like you know flowing to the other end so I can get the air out so I can get the polish like right up to the tip like this now I have a a tip that's fully full of polish. Whoa, out of control. Look at those bubbles. Here we go. Oops. It's really difficult to maintain a steady pressure so that you get like a flow and not like a blurb. Hmm. Where did all the blue go in here? Of course, if I start swirling it around this aggressively, it starts just looking completely like a regular drip marble. Like you kind of got to be a little bit more controlled with your... It's a lot of polish. It's really easy to move around. Like I feel like that's almost almost too much polish to be doing this with ooh i'm i'm really you guys can't see cuz i know i'm out i'm out of frame i'm getting some really cool subtle oh my god camera please let me change the focus You guys see those? Oh my God, it's so subtle. The yellow on the green. But look at those cells. I can't wait to do this with something that actually intentionally forms cells instead of them just forming accidentally due to the bubbles and stuff. Well, look how wet it still is. I mean, it's just flowing and flowing. Can we touch the blue one? Oh, the blue one's already dry. It's just going right over it. Yeah, some quite, quite interesting cells going on here. This camera is not at all... I wonder if it'll even focus this close. Even manually. Ah. There. You guys see? Hor it's a horrible shot, but I think you guys can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I, I feel like I really need to get colors that contrast a lot to get particularly cool looking stuff. 
Wow, look at some of the bubbles coming up in here as this is like drying. Let me let me try and see if I can get a really close focus of this purple one, actually, while I'm Ah, there. See all that going on? Like I I like this. I feel like I have much, much learning curve, but I like the way this is looking. Like it's cool. I mean it would look cool even if it ended up looking like a drip marble. Yeah, it's like they're they're not actually mixed, they're just very similar. Let's okay. Let's do one more test testy thing with this. Can I? Yeah, let's just shake this around a little bit. I need ooh, careful. Get a little air in there with it, and then it helps to sloosh sloosh. Whoa. Sounds gross, is gross. Can confirm. Like it's messy. If of course if you like if you were working with the same continuous colors, you wouldn't have to keep trying to clean out your uh your syringe. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna do just one more little test. And we're going to do that on this here lid. Let's close these first. And we are going to put... I think this will be cool. We are going to put Burnt Out with Talk to the Hand. Talk to the Hand. Ooh, you need shaking. How do you already need shaking? You're damn near brand new. That just doesn't want to go away. That's just something weird happening with the pigment. Everything is shaking. I'm sorry. I'm really trying to get this out. Hey, Sapphire. Whoa, sorry. Like, I, I've seen this happen in polishes before. I'm kind of surprised that it's, like, really not shaking out at all. I mean, you guys see I'm I'm trying hard. The polish would be fine. It just looks dumb. And uh, there's burnt out for you. Oh, yours does that same thing, Polish Soul. That is so weird. It had, like I said, it has to be something with that particular pigment. Neons too are some polishes that don't necessarily age well, but my previous uh, pastel neons aged pretty well. So let's try these two colors. And oops, let's actually try just like two drips of each or two like you'll you'll see what i mean well maybe no we need a little bit more at the beginning to make sure that there's not just one at the beginning but then maybe well you'll see i'm gonna do like like that and like this don't want to have this tilted too much and then just like load it I wonder if this is going to be enough. Mm. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Get the end in there. Oh, getting it started is... Oh, there it goes. All right. Oops. Mm. 
おお Let's see how these stretch out. Oh, these look weird. It looks like a tiger, actually. Look at this, you guys. I, like, I didn't think they were super pretty when I was first looking at it, but... Kind of looks like tiger stripes. If I let them settle like that. You guys are getting a very orange cast to the burnt out. I feel like maybe I should not be mixing finishes. Very few cells in this one, despite the fact that I had that burst of bubbles at the very end. I feel like it flows more than drip marbling, maybe possibly because it all comes out of the, the syringe pretty quickly as opposed to like the time it takes to drip them out in the pattern that I usually use. This looks so weird. Kind of barfy. I don't want to have that one be our last one. I thought that one was going to be really cool and it's like not. It's like not at all. So this, uh, Sapphire, this is a technique called uh, fluid art. And I've not ever done it before, and I'm kind of just messing around with it and don't super fully know what I'm doing. So there's that. Going out for dinner. All right, Amethyst, what time is it? Five o'clock. Tonight is race night, and I don't know if I'm racing or not. Like, I kind of love race night, but... I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like the other colors, both of the other color combinations, even this pukey rainbow one turned out better than this one. Let's maybe try. Let's do this and this. And well, maybe just these two. I wonder how that would go. Okay, we're just gonna do these two, and this is gonna be the last one, and then we're gonna move on to some water marble testing. Yeah, it is kind of, but like a gross kind of nacho cheese, like the burnt out. I don't know, it just doesn't come through very nicely. Yeah, and usually like with acrylic paints, they just like put it in a cup and pour it out. But I feel like that could, like you'd waste so much with marbling. Like I like the syringe because it like cleans the edges as it goes down. And I don't, I mean like obviously I'm not putting this on my nails. It's a waste of polish. But I don't have like a cup that's coated with polish that didn't even get to make a beautiful design. Mm. Now, you guys may be shocked, then again, maybe not, to learn that I have never had Chipotle. This is kind of scummy inside. Like, sometimes if the acetone doesn't get kind of fully clean, then it starts leaving a little residue. I'm not really going to worry about it too much. I wonder, too, like, that would probably be too hard. All right, let's, uh, pink and blue. For these, I, okay, I've been saying I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it. We're just adding each color once. We're just going to add a whole bunch of drops once. Beanie. What are you doing? Beanie. 
I, I don't trust your silence, cat. Get in your chair where I can see you. Please. You know what else I saw the other day on Instagram? Another really cool smooshy flower design. Um, I lost count on how many dribbles this was. We'll go with that. All right, do this. Yeah, they do really start to mix in there. Where's the pink? There's the pink. Um, I think if I really, really wanted to get like that tree ring effect that I'm intrigued with, I would need to use quite a bit more polish because when you're down right by the tip, I feel like it's hard to control your smoosh. This is, can you guys see the pink or do you only see the turquoise? Um, the turquoise that you're seeing, I know you're not going to believe me. That's actually the pink. So this actually wasn't as much contrast as I was thinking because they're duochromes. Can I get a... Is this the little weak flashlight? No, the weak flashlight's not going to cut it. And my cell phone is not charged. So like... In the bottle, you see all that turquoisey shimmer in this decal? Like, you just lose the pink completely. Like, that's kind of horrible, too. Like, I don't enjoy that pattern as much as I thought. Maybe I should do one more with an actual pink. Like, with this pink. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that, and then we'll be done. I promise. I mean, compared to the way I usually do drip marbling, I'm definitely getting some different things happening. Uh, there are some cells being created that are very interesting. Um, but the main reason I chose it was just so that I didn't have a lot left on whatever I was using to quote unquote pour the polish. All right, this will be the really last one. Next, I might use, like, these two are kind of close again. I have a tendency to put the second one right across from the first one instead of, like, making sure there's room for more. We'll see if these two play together any nicer than the oranges. It, oranges ish orangish ones did. Mm. Oh, get in there. Whoa, there it goes. Okay, wow, this lid is not flat. That's the tree ringiest one I've done yet. 
And then you kind of got to be careful as you spread it around if you want to maintain the rings, which this really didn't do. I wonder if it's because I'm working on a dry surface instead of a wet surface. This is turning pretty cool, though. Ooh, I kind of brought them back. Whoa. Yeah, I bet it partly is because it sticks at the edges instead of flowing at the edges. Darn, I might have to do one more, you guys. <laughs> Even that one turned out cool, though. I mean, it's like very, very swirly. Camera, camera hates it, of course. Let's... Um, hold on. there you can kind of it's very blendy very blendy on camera oops not that far okay one more test i've been saying this how many times like five times yeah do you uh sandwich it yo Oh, what are you swatching, music gal? Sorry if you already said. All right, we'll try this one more time and then we'll move on. I do want to try it like directly on a silicone mat too. I want to get like some smaller mats that I can pick up and move around. Like my big miracle mat isn't really very suited to that. Maybe use the pink as the base color. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Now let's see if we... Do like a little bit of this first more like a uh, drip drop blobby cure mm. I need more space oh shit 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 now it's wrong I needed like even more can I just like can you flow? Can you flow in the... Oh, did you guys see? Like, how good it was going? And then, like... Can I maybe just, like, pull them? Look at those... Those tree rings. I mean, it's not a ring, obviously, but it's, like, the side of the ring that was forming. It'll be going away if I continue to swirl it. I'm pretty sure. Like, there was something happening there, though, and then I, like, over-blurbed. Plus, I didn't quite make my, my base area big enough. Like, it was, it really was flowing in a completely different fashion on a wet base than it was on just the, uh, wow. Can you guys there? Oh, yeah. Oh, camera, you're struggling. That's pretty cool, though. What do you guys think of that one? <sighs> yeah, that's what I've been thinking of, yo. And then do, like, the sandwich technique or just pour it out. I do think that the syringe, I mean, helps to prevent, like I said, a bunch of waste. I mean, basically all you're wasting is, like, a little bit in the tip. And there's not even much, like, 
you see there's not even much polish there it's mostly just like a residue and you can kind of clean that out with the syringe so i like it as far as not wasting stuff um it it doesn't quite give me the control that i imagined i'd have because the syringe is not easy to maneuver and not easy to keep a steady pressure on or at least for me it's not but that was a freaking excuse me that was that last one was the best one so i think that's what i'll need to experiment more on on the next occasion that we mess with this The lid, I don't know if water would be enough. I mean, I suppose we could do another test. <laughs> mm, running out of lid room here. I had very poor placement there again. Let's put these over here. Um, let's dump these onto here we can use this lid remainders of the last decals um do i have like something to spray water got like my hair sprayer hold on tenovertin i don't think i'm familiar with that brand let's uh let's see how don't kale my vibe plays with the neon green or maybe i should pair it with the with the yellow or the limon hmm No, I think I'm going to stick with this green. I also, with those, didn't do a bunch of alterations. Like, I was just doing, you know, the color that it was. The color that it was. <laughs> All right, let's go here. I'll do this first, and then I'll spray down some water. These bottles are going to be hurting after today, especially once we get to the water marbling. Of course, maybe they won't work for water marbling. And this fluid art play will be the main experimenting that we do today. Okay. Get the syrup, the plunger in there. Mm, careful. Okay. Gotta. I don't know. Is that wet enough? Should I like rub it around? It kind of just beads up. I don't. I don't know if this will work. We're just going to try it. Feel like it's resisting spreading except for right where it's touching water look at the ring or the rings i'm getting though i have trouble like staying in the middle i keep listing to one side kind of like it's spreading where the water is if i could somehow get like a fully
a fully wet surface. I mean, like, like water marbling. I don't, I don't think it would be light enough to float for water marbling, though. Although I could be wrong. I do feel like we got some kind of different movement out of this. And the colors go interestingly together. Let's uh let's dry off the other half of this and try these again with a big polished base. Oh, they do the same. That that does seem to be a trend. I know. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that trend. Yeah, it's interesting. And I mean, I have thought about doing it for water marbling, but even before I tested it, I thought that might not work very well. And after testing it, I definitely don't think it would because it just comes out so thickly. Ninety nine percent sure everything would just sink. So now we'll try it with a big, nice polish base. Hey, Sophia. Okay. So, let's get this in here. And then let's, it's like a big old spot, like bigger than the last spot. Okay, that's getting kind of weird. There's some bubbles and shit in there, but you guys. Oh, you guys are not in a good focus, are you? There. Now, you see how it's like kind of settled over in this corner, like it lost, you know. Room to, room to expand. Plus, it seems like the base is drying a little bit. Can I kind of like... We've got rings and we've got cells in here. I'm trying to like pull it a little bit to the side and pull out some of the cells and maintain the rings. It's not really working very well. Now, nah, it was looking cooler before I started turning it. Maybe I just need to really... Like, make sure that I'm working on a wet base. I mean, maybe the wet base doesn't even have to be polish. Or, I mean, like a color polish. Like, maybe I could just use a janky clear. <coughs> maybe I could even use... <coughs> Acrylics as that base part. Okay, we have to move on from this. Yeah, I really liked 
the thing that I feel like is different, and I've never done this, granted, with, like, acrylics, I feel like with polish, once I start trying to, you know, like, tilt it around, I feel like I lose a lot of the pattern. And when I've seen this done with acrylic paints, I feel like when they start moving it around, they more, the pattern more stretches rather than changes. Part of that, maybe somewhat of the, of the wet base, that definitely needs more explana explanation, exploration. Yeah, I mean, it's not, I don't feel like it's really much more than like water marble testing. And I mean, there have been times when I've sat here and done, you know, a dozen different water marble tests. So I'm not too worried about that particularly. But yeah, I mean, that it is a goodly amount of polish. <clears throat> hey, Sacrista. Well, you know, one thing we really, okay. Fuck, I said I was going to be done. Let's one of the things that they mix into the acrylic version is uh whoops 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 get back on here whoa I'm dropping my my remnants as I'm trying to combine the the trays that they're on oh you never even got peeled up well let's just move everybody onto your tray then um one of the things they add is some kind of silicone and i've seen various videos and sometimes like they use a spray but the spray that i looked up has like all kinds of warnings about like being sensitive and don't putting it on your skin so I looked around and found a different kind of silicone that is, uh, well, I mean, it's not like you don't want to be eating it or anything, but it's like, okay to touch your skin. <laughs> Whoa. So let's see. We've played with those. We've played with those. Let's maybe do this one and this one. I like that. This one we did with water is still looking quite cool. Like, I like how that turned out. But I don't feel like it's super different than a drip marble. Then again, one of the problems I was having with the drip marble was the colors having very uneven distribution when I did this one. Um, and this one, I mean, the colors really are very, very well distributed somehow. Okay. So, we got a couple more. And like when they, when the, when the fluid artist, the acrylic fluid artists do it, to my understanding, they like mix it in to their acrylic before they, like before they start pouring. I don't think that I necessarily want to go to like quite that length of like, woo. Um... Like pouring it out separately and mixing it together and all like that. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add in like a couple drops at the very end. Okay, so I'm trying to keep these about equal amounts. I'm kind of just, I mean, the drips are not all the same size, but I'm kind of just counting the amount of drips I'm putting in there. And then, like, I should just be able to... Whoa. I literally added two drops of that. I don't know what it's going to do.
Um, hello plunger. There we go. Whoa, it's gonna make the plunger easier to squeeze. I mean, I guess it is a lubricant. Okay, getting this to the tip carefully. <gasps> I don't know how much of that the camera caught. Did I literally somehow manage to avoid like squirting that on anything important? Oh my God, you guys, I have to, oh my God, I have to clean this up. <laughs> I was trying to be so careful. You saw me. I was trying. I thought that surely went like directly. I mean, look, I barely have any left in there now. I just lost control of it. Okay, well, we got to add some more back in there now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's all... Well, I just, well, I mean, I get, well, shit. Okay. Um, let me, um, <laughs> oops. <laughs> it just, I was trying to go so slow and it was just like, bloop, bloop. Here, here's some. Here's more. God, it's all over. Fuck. Maybe I should put... Should I put the silicone in? I don't know. I don't think last was the wrong call. God, now that was a waste of polish. We didn't accomplish anything there. I can't believe that. I was trying to be so, so careful. The carefully you are, the more likely whatever you're trying to not have happen is to happen, I feel like, maybe. Some days. Okay. I'm going to add in a couple drops of the silicone at the end here. Like literally, bloop, bloop, two drops. We're gonna put this end in here. We're gonna try and squeeze out the air. <laughs> like it'll be going smoothly and then it'll be so stubborn. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. We're gonna put out some blue. We're gonna put out a nice wet base. Okay. Mm. Too mixy. Decent tree rings. Whoa. At the end, they seemed less mixed. Whoa, you see that in the middle? Like how it looks looser? Can you guys see that? How it's like flowing almost like all by itself? I think that's the silicone, you guys. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. It didn't even, yeah, okay. I can, can I don't think you guys could see it. See that little shiny spot? That's the silicone. Okay, so actually, turns out that mixing it in probably does actually make a huge, huge difference. <laughs> or maybe just putting it in first. Should we try one more? Should we put the silicone in first? Should we somehow try to mix them? I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, I have fun experimenting. This is all so weird, though. I mean, it turned out very unique looking. Can you guys catch that metallic? I mean, or or maybe. Okay. Okay. 
Galaxy Brain. We're going to use these little edge. You guys see these little. We're going to put out two drops there and two drops there. And we're going to put out some nail polish. Whoop. That was a lot. Then we're going to get an orange stick. Um, where's the not as nice orange stick that I don't care about? We're going to mix it up. We're going to get the syringe. We're going to suck. Oop. Oh, come on. I just want to suck you up. Can I like, okay, let's, can we tilt you down in this corner? Can you just all flow like right here? I want to get my, okay, what if I do like this? Can you just all like settle down in here so I can, so I can get you? I'm, I'm feeling like I'm not getting very much polish. Hmm. Oh, no. And where'd that other drop of silicone go? I shouldn't have put that out already. Ice pellets? All right, let's try this again. Like two drops of this. Nail polish. Whoa. Um, a little bit more. Okay, we're going to tilt this and stir it together. And try to suck it up with the thingy. Like, can I, can I lean you right there? Yeah, stay, stay right there. Like, I'm just not able to, like, like, I get just a little bit, and then there's so much air in there that I got to get the air out, and then I just try to, like, what is this, this hair hanging on here? <laughs> this is not working. Oh, look at this. Now I'm squirting it out, and it's, like, not even wanting to squirt out. Oh, a little bit squirted out. A li oh, you guys didn't see. That's all that I was able to suck up from all that. Oh, do you see how it's separating? Like, look at there. How it's, like, breaking. I guess I didn't mix it enough? Or maybe this isn't the right kind of silicone and you have to use the kind that's dangerous to your health and your skin in order to get cool patterns? I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll... Let's leave like a little puddle. We'll leave a puddle on this little opposite side. We'll leave two drops there. And see by the end of the stream what's left there. Alright, let's just... Uh, clean that off and close it up. Okay, now we need to find somewhere else to store you also. Because you're open now. So laying on your side is probably not the best idea. Let's just stick you up here by the latex for now. Um, is this a spot? That's a spot. Oh. Look at this. There's still there's polish all over the place. Oh my god. And that wiped off weird. Is it because it has silicone in it? I, I just don't even know. Like this one, I feel like... Yeah, you can definitely see that greasy. I mean, silicone is a is a lubricant. I mean, it was it was lubricating the polish. You can see that greasy residue that's left behind, but like I mean, it must dry out eventually, otherwise how are all those fluid artists doing anything? Let's just let's just leave that over there. So, let's move 
onward from fluid art to something that I actually know something about, or at least I like to pretend I do, which is water marbling. And uh, I'm just, I don't want to leave this super, super dirty. I'm not going to fully clean it. You know what? Before I start water marbling, maybe I should take off this nail, this polish, the rest of it. Would you guys like some peel porn? How about that for our intermission? Ooh, or maybe I should put the peel porn music to Star Trek, to original Star Trek. Picture, listen to the listen to the theremin or picture the theremin. Well, not picture. Imagine. Imagine the theremin in your head. Peel porn. Do, 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 do. Whoa. <clears throat> oh, alcohol. I've got alcohol. Should we do an alcohol test? No, that'll be for next time. You guys help me remember the next time we're playing with these syringes and with fluid art to try alcohol on there instead. Really, I mean, if I'm going for cells, the, sol the sol simple solution is just to get out the fucking sinful colors, hypnotic effects, rather than fucking around with this silicone and alcohol and whatever else. Just use nail polish that's intended to do that. Yeah, it's hard to draw it up with the syringe. Like, you really need a fucking puddle in order to get more than, like, a worth. Anyway, let's, uh, God, this end, end of the paper towel roll has the paper towel so curly. Let's, uh, mount this up for recording the peel porn. Why are you so crooked, camera? I swear we had this conversation. Alrighty, we've got some weird polish residue in various places. Let's get rid of that before we, before we do the peel. And last night, like, this was wearing okay, and then just, like, last night, I was sitting watching Dr. Crotron, and literally all of a sudden, I realized I was missing one. And then in, like, the next half hour, like, two more popped off. So, I wasn't really ready to say goodbye to this manicure. But, on the other hand, it also, like I mentioned during the stream when we did this, like, I felt like it was cooler before we applied them when they when they get applied you just like you're no longer seeing all the coolness um god this looks so dark on here do we have yeah i guess it's just i don't know <clears throat> so let's uh let's find our edges Whoa, you can, yeah. Where did Beanie? Oh, there you are, Beanie. Beanie is curled up next to the space heater. All right, so we're just looking. And some of these, not all these seem like they're about to peel off at any minute. Like this one here, I'm not finding like a super quick, easy edge. There we go, but it's also not like too difficult to find an edge. I do think that I let the decals get a little bit too dry. I think it would have been more ideal to uh, to have like an evening stream, or not an evening stream, an afternoon stream instead of an evening stream, but that just wasn't meant to be. Hey, Doc. Your SLI? What is SLI? I mean, it sounds like a computer thingy, I'm assuming, and I'm assuming that's the source of your weird problems, some of your weird problems. S L I. Yeah, that would be great if it was. I mean, that sounds like a simple fix of then turning the S L I back on. Hopefully, 
I hope that fixes it for you, Doc. And I I think you did wonderfully, Doc. I mean, literally, even if you were not rusty, which, okay, even if you've had a couple de-rust runs, you're still rusty, FYI. Um, like, streaming with your mom, and they're like, that's not normal. It was awesome. That's not normal. And by normal, I mean usual. Not like, well, we, we've had this normal conversation before. Using two graphics cards. Why do you need two graphics cards, Dr. Crotron? I know, because fancy. Yeah, that was real. She was great. She was great. Let me, where, where is it? Do I still have it up somewhere? Where did I put it? You guys, when you have a moment, anybody that was not there. And Doc, if you haven't seen this yet. This is, this is Dr. Crotron's mom, you guys. It was so much, it was so much fun. I hope she had fun too. She seemed to have fun. She was she was laughing and hanging out and being confused by the game and but still seemed to be enjoying the game and like I don't know. Like she it was so obvious she was your mom. I I mean I mean that in the best possible way. It was so good. Alrighty. Let's uh bow chicka bow 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 bow. Peel, peel porn. Okay. <laughs> Let me just, uh, okay. <clears throat> I always kind of keep to the same format in my Peely videos, even though I very rarely, oh wait, that's not on, that's not actually on screen. Are you still not quite where you're supposed to be camera? Well, that's minor. Got these two lovelies because we lost those couple nails. One thing with the cows is they do almost always give you a super, super nice, very satisfying, full on peel. Like you're gonna have some lovely peelies to remember it by. I, I hope that the other one just shows up you know, that it fell into a shoebox somewhere. And I'm going to just be looking around and find it. This is the alien. I don't know. I'm going to try again to get you guys to be able to see the alien. Oh, you guys don't have a good angle at all. I'm sorry. I sigh. Sawi. Very, very, very sawi. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, basically, basically music, gal. I got, there's a, where's my corner? My, my. Can you guys see this? Like, was the Peely just hanging on there? Like, not even. Was it this one? That's not the one that was there. No, that one was there. Wait, which one was on this nail? It was this one. Peely was just casually hiding a broken nail. Fuck! I was going to try and show you guys the alien. Let me adjust the focus. There. See his little alien head and his little alien nose? I should have clipped. I, of course, I suppose I could go back and clip. Wait, hold on. Now he's out of focus again. Oh. I should have gone back and clipped it when it was on the full little thingy. Also, because that was on the good camera. My little alien. That's like my favorite Peely ever. This one is also a close second because you can see those those swirls in there. Okay, well, I gotta file this broken nail a little bit. With just your. That's really. 
Why? Why would that? Well, because because computers. Modi could have could have. We'll just we'll just call you Mod or Modi. Modi Modi. Thank you for the follow. I hope I haven't. I mean, I hope one of my pronunciations was close to being right. I mean, do I just want to sit here with a silly curved corner, or do I actually want to take my nails a little bit shorter? Um, do I not have any cotton over here? Seriously? Okay, sorry. Be right back. I mean, I'm not going anywhere other than you know, over here to my salon coil. Can you guys see? I made it like smaller than it was. Like I cut the box in half and then like put it on top of each other. It is usually like twice that tall. But I mean, I've I've used a lot of it. All right. Nail amputation surprise. Maybe, you guys. I was thinking the other day that they were probably getting to a length that I love and that is probably slightly too long because then breaks start happening. Let's just get rid of this little bit of extra leftover polish on some of the nails. What time is it? 5.46. Dr. Crotron, did you get to eat some of your cake? Beanie stole the corner. He could be. He's over there pretending to be innocent. It's Dr. Crotron's birthday, by the way, everyone. That's why we got to see his mom today, because she's here for his birthday. Well, go go eat some... Go eat some cake, feller. Oh, that's that... It's that gel base I used last time. Is it still sticking on the bottom? Yeah. My nails, I gotta be careful with them. I don't want them to turn back into being a mess. Yeah, they do feel normal. Thing is, it's also gardening season. Like, they're, they're gonna be better than they were in the winter because they're not gonna be quite as brittle. But, uh... Gardening can be a little bit rough on them. Oh, yes. Yeah, so are you going to go out like to dinner for your birthday, Doc? Or what are you going to do? What are you doing? I'm nosy and I would like to know. And thank you for spending part of your birthday entertaining us. Oh, you know, regular birthday stuff then. Yeah. You gotta do that as you get older in order to maintain some of your youth. And then frozen yogurt. I just don't know. I, I wasted my time last night because I was having so much fun backseating Luke through his first 106 run that I did not get my editing done last night. That then I was doing my editing while I was watching you, Doc. And I did get it done. Um, We, we watched the video with Clark and Beanie. See, the other thing is my, my left hand is noticeably longer than my right hand. Well, we'll take them down a little bit. Anyway, so yeah, then I started my stream late and then I'm like looking at the clock and I'm like, I haven't even gotten to the water marble testing yet that I promised people that I've like titled the stream as. We've been sitting here messing around with fluid art. And now we're filing my nails that I didn't even know were broken and needed filing. And what about dinner? And what about race night? And I just don't know what I'm doing. I might just watch race night. I don't know. I don't even know who's participating tonight. All right. So we took, you can kind of see now. If I just hold these two like next to each other, how much shorter my ring finger is than my middle nail. Now it's not like short, but I'm filing off maybe like two to three millimeters, I guess I would say. Okay, just make sure you're keeping it even. Like don't don't go too gung ho. 
right out the gate. You're not allowed because it's your birthday or because your mom's in town. <laughs> who's forget who's forbidding you, your wife or your mom? <laughs> All right, that'll do. And then this one we gotta be careful with, but it's good for this one to have some of the length taken off anyway, so it's not having as much stress on that stress point. Yeah, how long is how long is she in town to hang out with you? I know you said you went and got her from the airport yesterday. Yesterday evening. <laughs> what the hell this nail has like some kind of yeah a little leftover base coat residue from being messy with the gel base coat I guess I should have maybe put down a primer for that because it's kind of peeling I'm trying to like peel the loose areas without peeling it from where I needed to be protecting the weak spot. See that little tiny residue? There. Now it's off. <laughs> Not going to tell me which one until tomorrow. Well, that at least means I'll see you tomorrow. See, I can put a positive spin on it. Yeah, I don't know. I really, I mean, I really enjoy race night when I can participate, but I mean, I, I do feel like I should put my own stream first, obviously. Not like shortchange this stream just so that I can go do race night. I mean, race night is also part of my stream, obviously, but. Yeah, almost all of that gel base coat that I put on in order to help protect this spot where it's trying to have a break is gone. But I think it'll be okay. I hope so, because I'm not putting more on. Everything's been put away. Well, actually, not everything. Everything, the lamp has been put away. That's not too bad. That's not too even. <laughs> Get the pinky a little bit. Pinky's eyes a little bit weird, because it's not even with the other nails, but it needs to be consistent with the other nails. I really need to kind of rework my taper also, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. I don't even know what we're gonna if we're gonna put anything on my nails during the stream, although I probably should even if it's just something plain. Oh, let's work on the water marbling. The water marbling cup, as you can see here, was a victim of splooge. And uh Hopefully. We'll be able to avoid any of those. Well, I mean, it won't be those kind of accidents. Hopefully, we'll be able to avoid accidents mostly altogether for the water marbles. Um, what do you, what are you guys interested in seeing? I mean, do you guys have some combinations that you want to see, or should I just like play around a little bit? We have a couple test strips already that I've located. Like, I mean, we could do one that was like real bluish. We've got like, I mean, do I, and should I mix them or should I stick within the collections? Like you want to see multi-chrome marbles or, or cream marbles or mixed marbles? <clears throat> the sounds of spring. Also in this instance, I mean, like as far as water marbling, we're going to be having a sheer, a sheer layer of color. So we're going to want to keep in mind, <coughs> mm. excuse me, you guys, the swatches that we did, which for the oil slicks, you guys can see here, we had our strip of black. Some of these colors look very, very different over black than they do over white. So that is a thing to keep in mind. Hmm. 
any left. Yeah, we were, some people were talking about snow today. I refused to believe it, and it turns out I was correct. Man, my cuticles are really looking gross. They need some attention. Um, okay, let's try these. Let's try these three multi-chrome blues just together. Ooh, should we put this one in there too? Yeah, let's. Let's do that. Actually, let's put them on this side. And let's go back in there. And yeah, you're sharp enough to water marble with, I think. Let's just sharpen up the tip just a small amount. Sharp tip is important if you want to get like nice, clean lines in your water marble. Just trying to like make it a little more symmetrical, like it's very lopsided looking right now. Okay. Um, okay. What time is it? Oh, six. I, I feel like I need to make a decision one way or the other shortly. Um, this actually could. Why are you still? Actually, let's just leave that like that. Um, I feel like I need to make a decision shortly or it'll be made for me. Like by default. And that's like not a way to make decisions all right let's see how these go i'm hoping they play pretty nice together because they have similar formula for the most part i mean from what i can tell from the uh the swatching and from what i've worked with them so far already Mm, maybe four more. That'll put us at 12. I mean, the rings are even. We didn't get quite to the edge of the cup, which I need to address. You guys need a better angle, too. I mean, you can see, but I need to hook you guys up a little better. I mean, they draw pretty clean. Hmm. How long has this been sitting here folded? It's all like dusty. I need to move my cup more like right there would give you guys a better view. That's cool though. Now, if I messed around and gave it a black base, of course, this lightest turquoise turns lavender over a black. And the darkest color turns more obviously gold. Do I have a black? This looks almost empty, if not empty, but I bet I can get enough to do a swatch. Let's just get, oh, if this is, oh, this is the bottle that's like so, nah. hey, Ray, nah. where's my, bottle opener, there we go. I like those all together. Oh man, this bottle is so crusty and gross. I would use something else for the manicure. But just for just for funsies. We'll give that a minute to dry. Um next maybe I should do this one too.
I'm like, what if I do this one like kind of pinkish and browns? So we could do like scooch. Like this one. Which one? This no. Or maybe that is this one. Oh my goodness, I'm losing track. No, this is this one. And then we could use that one. And this one. <gasps> oh no! There, that's better. Let's, uh, let's move these over to the side. Actually, I'm going to need some more for these to dry. Uh, okay. So like this one flashes green over black and this one flashes turquoise over black. So I'm not sure how these are going to look on their own or over black, but we're going to give it a try and see. Clean out that scum, all that sitting in there. How long has this been? My camera hasn't turned off yet. Why hasn't my camera turned off yet? <sighs> Why wouldn't it do this when we were using it? Like, I'm just realizing, like, it's been several minutes, and I have not been recording any of this, and I have not been touching the camera. I haven't noticed if it's been, like, refocusing or whatever as I've been working, but that should not make a difference. Like, before... What are we, what are we at right now? Two hours, 22 minutes up. I'm going to continue to pay attention to this. This is odd. I have switched back to the other camera, but I have my, my other camera is it's right here. I had it out for recording the peelies and it's still on. I just hate fucking mysteries. Do you work or do you fucking not work camera? This is my question. I, like, what would make it do that? Or what was making it not do it before? Or, like, am I just fucking missing something super obvious? I don't know. All right. I'm so confused right now, you guys. See, I can, now that I'm paying attention to it, I can hear it. It is like adjusting focus as I'm water marbling. But, uh, that wasn't affecting it before. Um, and again, I mean, these aren't spreading... Okay, there we go. These aren't spreading quite as nice as the others, but they're still spreading pretty well. The one that has the greenish cast to it, I feel like is impacting the spread of the others. This ring? I don't like that. And here, too, it's thick. Here, it's kind of weird. I think we're cutting that color out. Let's get rid of that. I'm not going to draw that. I don't like it enough. Mm. Yeah, it's still on. Literally, what the fuck? I mean, I wonder if it would cooperate if I... Okay, we're, we're going to experiment, you guys. We are going to experiment. 
Um, camera going away. Or camera blocking into view also could be a thing. Mm, capture card plugging in. <laughs> um, we'll do like this. One moment, please. And then we'll do like this. Oh, oh. Get in there. But why aren't you working? There we are. I know it's very close. Let me just center this. I just want to leave it here for a minute. And just you guys let me know if it's doing anything weird other than the normal. So this is back to my tutorial camera. And we're going to see if it shuts off or not. No, you didn't miss watermarbling. We did a bunch of mildly successful fluid art. Questionably successful fluid art. But you can't see the void, Dr. Crotron. I can see that you can't see the void. Excuse me. <clears throat> I just don't understand why it's not switching off right now. I'm afraid to like touch anything on it for fear it will switch off. Which I mean is not a good way to live my life either, but. We'll just see how it. Yeah, the water sometimes really fucks with it too. It's like it doesn't quite know what to focus on. Let's see here. Come on, camera. Come on. Come on. These aren't aren't as nicely even as the other ones. So what is that? Nine? Let's go ten. And will you spread for me? Come on. No wiggle. There we go. This is nice though. Like they kind of settled out in sort of an even fashion and they're drawing very clean. Like the line through the polish as I go through as I'm and I'm just skimming the very surface like it's a very straight clean line. The polish isn't curdling or pulling in any weird ways. That's interesting. Kind of weird, interesting. There's the first one. Wow. Th this is why we were, we were trying to get this camera to work. I mean, look at how much more you can see than the webcam was showing you. <laughs> That's cool. In fact, I wonder if it'll even... So this was that yellow and blue and green one. Too close camera? There you go. There. This is another really good example. Those of you who were here and who saw when I was just trying to get this to show up, this is everything you could not see before. I mean, before you could see that it was green. You could see there were some little yellow dots in there, but I, I don't think you could see like that. Um, whoa, don't, don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. It didn't fall. Um, Here's that that very first purple one. 
I mean, it's not that the other camera is bad. It's that we're working with really small detail and it just could be better in the, in the detail and the focus and in the color recognition. Here's that one I said looked kind of barfy. It's like rainbowy barf. Come on here. That gives you a little bit. I mean, it just, it's better. Here go these pinky and purpley, pinky and bluey ones. Oh, this is probably the best of the tests. Uh, 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 okay, sorry. I was enjoying that a little too much. Yeah, it, it reminds me of kind of like uh, Lucky Charms. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're going to do something. and I mean, like from when I looked... At when this was still on, I had been up for 2.22. Now we're to 2.31. It's been almost 10 minutes. I'm not recording. I didn't change any settings from the last time I was trying to use it. I, I don't understand what's happening. I feel like if I adjust it, I might ruin it, but I need to be able to adjust it. So let's, let's pull out to here and let's see if it'll hold in there while we work on the blue ones and we're going to try it over black. Yeah, so Krista, that's, that's why I'm struggling. And it just, I don't know. Like, like, like I've ranted on the other days, like my options are somewhat limited, but if I, if this camera just suddenly decides to cooperate, that would be fucking phenomenal. Phenomenal. Phenomenal phenomenal <laughs> yeah the rings on these are effortlessly even like I don't feel like I have to mess with it or you know wait for certain colors to spread certain other colors the rings just are really nice and even wow look at that in the cup oh my god this is what I want to show you guys. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm just going to draw the same or similar-ish design. Because this is just going to be to see how things react over black. Like maybe there's some camera god out there that just heard my, heard my cry. But like I don't understand why. And I don't understand, like, like, I don't feel like I can trust this, this sudden cooperation from my camera. All right, over black, these really pop. I mean, both are cool. But they're just, like, even more... More vibrant, and I feel like you get a little bit more greenish, like a stronger green on some of them. Depending on the angle, of course. I wish I could get you guys more, more of the angle where you could see, like some of the the lavender coming out and the one turquoise color. Those are both really nice, though. Put this over here to dry. Um, and then let's try these pink and bronzy ones over black and see how these do. And yes, these are marbling. I'm, I'm quite pleased with how these are marbling. I mean, I can't say that the whole entire collection marbles, that one that I was using, uh, carrot cake I wasn't happy with how that was reacting with the others and even like in this one you can see that there's kind of like a fat a fatter ring in there I might be able to resolve that just with the order I'm dripping though let's drip in the opposite order this time okay 
So this will be uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's still being kind of more stubborn than the others. And we'll call it at 10. Mm, let's finish spreading, please. We'll wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I've got a hair. Thanks, Beanie. It's fixable, though. Like, we'll just do like that, and then it's fine. But when you see that, like, extra drag, that means your orange stick is, like, compromised. <laughs> okay. Let's do the over black test, and the camera is still fucking cooperating. What is going on? Oof. Oh. What? Same colors. What? I like that a lot. Oh. So, like I said, the black base coat or base color <clears throat> can make a pretty hefty difference with these uh <coughs> excuse me oh my god you guys <clears throat> mm. <sighs> with these duo chromes the black base can really like do do you some favors i mean like that i mean that's a much more drastic and part of it is that these have like very kind of polar polarizing multi-chromes but like compare these two to well, let's put the no wait which yeah this is the this is the black side to these two like they're just actually that's not a very good let's let's go like this there I mean the black intensified the blue also like I feel like it made it more metallic and more just like popping but it it intensified the colors rather than actually like changing them to different colors these are both like I don't know what that means exactly, but I think you guys get my get my general drift. Um, I like I like both of those. Let's see if we can do some more shit that we like. Hail hydrate. <laughs> and let me just like quickly the colors because I don't think I said these colors. Um, burnt out was like i mean phenomenal on so many levels you could see all that going on in there uh sorry not sorry i mean look at that it looks fuchsia there it looks like bronze burgundy gold there's a polished motion of burnt out and smooth move like in this they just look like a pink color story like from my angle this one is leaning gold into green it, this one has a very, like, wide variety of colors that pop out of it. Yeah, look at there. Like, it just... Sometimes even just... Ooh, that's kind of... Let's you guys see. Yeah, look at that. Look at that shift. I mean, I know this looks silly, but just look at the color. Getting those different angles. This is what I need to do to be showing you guys the duochromes. Whoops, let's not knock over the water. Pink. Lav lavender and purple and teal turquoise-ish. This one is not as drastic as the other one. And let's keep these together because that's, that's going to be a manicure. And then the, the bluer ones, we have cash only, which looks gold directly right there. Um... Rhythm and Blues, Hooked, and Frostbite. And Frostbite, I think, is another one that really, like, you can see a lot of the pink and lavender flash there. 
and then as I change the angle it gets more of a green green leaning turquoise and then you go back to like the purplish and like this one you can bring it and see more of that blurple blurple into like bluer this one looks gold down here you bring it up and you get that teal coming out anyway that's also gonna be a be a thing um, so we'll keep those all together now let's fold up a couple strips um, you guys want to see like a rainbow or do you guys want to see some like weird combinations or do you want to see like some color on color story I mean I probably have to do a rainbow just to at least try <clears throat> yeah I, I can't believe I hadn't tried that like on stream before because I feel like I'm always struggling to show you guys and that was still like a pretty jank solution you guys my camera is still going what happened how did this happen can somebody please explain to me how this happened and if I can count on this to continue happening I mean, what did I what did I do differently? Like, would it really make a difference of like the order that I plugged things in? Like that does not seem. Plus, it was doing it before I plugged it to the thing. It was doing it when it was like. Guys, I'm so happy, but I'm so confused. Like, I don't know if this is OK to be happy about. always rainbow yeah I mean this this is good this is great it's fine I, I do kind of still feel like I said I kind of miss you guys having the exclusive like live stream angle at like slightly a, oops slightly a different angle of what I'm recording for my tutorials but I mean like right now we're not even recording a tutorial so that is yeah I, I did change the batteries so the thing is, so I have two cameras. I have this main tutorial camera and I have another, like what I can consider like my traveling camera. Like if I'm going to the conservatory or somewhere, it's lighter, it has more, it's like I got a shitload more zoom and it's just, you know, like th this one generally doesn't leave the house. They have the same battery pack. I have felt in the past that although it's the same, that the two do not act the same. And now it's got the other battery in it. I need to mark these batteries somehow. Where's the other battery? I don't know where the other battery is. I need to like give them a dot of nail polish or something so I could tell them apart. If the battery is the only like thing... Like, I guess I'll have, I don't know, like, why, I mean, they're both official camera Canon batteries because they're the ones that came with the cameras. I mean, I have used, like, in my old camera that I recently retired, like, I had used some generic batteries with, like, no problem. I'm not against generic batteries, but, like, I mean, remember seeing a thing and all the research I've been doing online with this camera that if you put in a non-Canon battery, you supposedly get, like, a warning message that you could damage your camera. Yeah, exactly. One, it's like, I don't know what variable I changed other than the battery. Because, like I said, it was doing it before I reconnected it to the capture card. Um, Man. If that's all it is. You guys. We're, we're going to operate on the assumption that the battery is the thing. We're going to we're going to continue using it for this stream, which I don't I man, you know what? OK, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm not racing tonight. I'm not going to have time. Probably. I guess if I wrapped up by seven, I would still have time to eat before race night. I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to take either. So let's let's take the oil slicks that we are not going to be marbling with and stick them back in their box here. So that they're out of the way. We'll stick those over here. 
Oh, we got nice polish all over our nails again. I'm glad I took my peelies off, although that nail had already peelied, so I wouldn't have been messing up the peely, but you know. I'm I'm like so happy and wary at the same time, you guys. I think I think I said that like five times, but if you didn't know, I'm happy and nervous. More more happy, I guess, but also like nervous. Once I once I'm done streaming, maybe I'll put the other battery in there and see if it starts acting goofy again and then then put this one back in and see if it starts acting right again and if that is the case then i guess what i'm gonna be doing is buying another another battery and hope that i get a good one or get the thing that i said i wasn't willing to get just for a 60 dollar experiment which was the power pack yeah, i'm feeling very hairy today the pow if, if the battery is the problem, then in theory, the power pack would resolve it, which is something that Daggett suggested. Daggett, if you're out there in the universe, you can feel my good vibes. I'm sending good vibes your way because you seriously helped me quite a bit with this. Just in pointing me in different directions and bouncing ideas off. And this is something that we had discussed. He was like, you know, what if you connect it to a power outlet? I'm like, well, it doesn't have a power thing. If you connect it via USB... It will charge the battery in the camera, but to actually like connect it to a power thing, you can't just like plug in a cord. You have to get a thing that fakes out being a battery that has a cord attached to it. Okay, we'll go yellow. Like, do we want to go brighter or do we want to go pastel? If we want to use the actual yellow, then I kind of feel like we'd want to go with the lighterish orange. Do I have all these out here? And this is kind of the... And then we've got like the blue, we've got the teal. So, okay. Oh, we've got a, such a wide, such a wide field of view here. You guys can see almost the whole damn collection. So. Okay, we've got, we've got a couple here. And a couple over here. That's the whole collection. So you're seeing mostly. So like if we go by the idea that we want to do a rainbow, of course we'd start with yellow. But then like which kind of orange would we want? I'd feel like we'd want to go kind of with the softer orange. But then there's not really like a softer, like there's not really like a softer pink in this one. I could dig into the other pastel neons that I have. But I kind of want to stick within this collection. So then if I go like bright orange... I feel almost like I should go with the limon instead of the lemon, but then do I also really need the green or do I go directly then to the teal? Do you like the limon and the teal instead of the green and the yellow? But then like, do I not do any blue? Like there's not really a super bright blue. Let me bring these ones in from the side that you just can't quite see. Like we don't have a super bright blue and there's also this very like non neon pink. Like I, I don't think I want to, I don't want to marble with that one. This is not a neon, but I feel like it could fit into the marble if I went with like a more subtle play of color. Like, I feel like these three look good together. And I feel like I've done like 80 water marbles in just that kind of a color pattern or color scheme. Clickety clackety. <laughs> take out the peach now I'm assuming by the peach you probably mean that one and use the teal so that would be like that then we could go oh we could just go like that and then not have an orange at all or would we want to maybe just instead of going orange lean into the coral what do we think of this like this isn't really a rainbow but it's like rainbow vibes I feel rainbow vibes here. I mean, it's not rainbow. See, and then it would flow. I mean, these two, this is where it kind of, you notice. 
like like this you're like oh yeah those all flow together but then like when you consider that it will wrap around like this it's like wait a minute that's not quite yellow and orange because they don't quite a smooth you know <laughs> sorry <laughs> um yeah i'm i'm thinking gradient thoughts here i'm i'm thinking reciprocal rainbow gradient thoughts here actually i don't know if i would really like a rainbow gradient though like every time i think about making a rainbow gradient i feel like picturing this color overlapping with this color in the gradient and I don't like them together or this and this together. I mean, these would be in the middle and they'd be blendy, but like, let, let's marble with these and see how, how it happens. Ooh. I found, oh my God, what did I do with them? Remember when I was looking around and I was trying to find an, my OPI black and white and I was like, oh my God, all these bottles are empty. Why don't I have any OPI black and white? I found I found my actual non-empty bottles and I don't know what I did with them. Just one set of drips. That could be, well... The problem that happens with that is that, well, I'll show you guys. Let's have an educational water marble moment. The more you know. Now, it's not that it can't work. It's just that it gets tricky because if you really want all the colors, you may have to do some finagling around the edges. Hello here, little stringy thing. Can you please get out of my cup? Can you, can you please get out of my cup? It's like stuck to the side and doesn't want to come out. Can I just like, there we go. That worked. Oh, look at this. I like peeled it off and then I laid it on the mat and then it turned into a little. You guys see this? It's like a little curly cue. I feel like I feel like there's a polish technique there, but I not one that I necessarily want to explore at this moment. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean, music gal, like a reciprocal or do, are you going back to meaning water marbles? Oh, oh, do you mean like a reciprocal marble? Instead of cycling through the colors, going doo -doo 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 -doo, like that. That's the 200 IQ play right there, music gal. So instead of, you guys can see right here, instead of going doo -doo 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 -doo, and then doo -doo 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 -doo, we go doo -doo 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 -doo, like that. My mom, my mom <laughs> says that to me sometimes when I do something. I'm sure she's like, like what now? Like she wants me to repeat it. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing it again. We'll do it both ways. Okay. 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 The excitement is, the excitement is bubbling forth. <clears throat> okay. Let's, let's clean the cup first. Cup's dirty. We got an amoeba instead of a. Instead of a nice, whoa, nice thingy. Ew. Okay, it's getting like really warm in here too. Okay, let's turn off the space heater actually. It's like way warmer than I need even for water marbling in here right now. I mean, I'm glad we have the space heaters, but it's really hard to keep us an even temperature with just the space heaters, especially in this kind of weather when it's like chilly outside, but it's sunny and the sun's coming through the window and the sun is warm. I'm sorry, are we in your spot? Let's uh, make, no, don't, no, come on. I'm making room for you. Come on, Beanie. Ain't even no room for you up there. Cause I was looking so hard for my syringes before a stream. The whole bed is covered with shit. I was like moving out of the way. Like are the syringes here? Where are the syringes? In the dumbest possible place. I don't know. I don't know why. I Maybe they didn't get put there intentionally. Maybe that was just like an accident. I have trouble thinking I would actually put it there. Fucking on purpose. You guys want to be a little bit closer? Or do you like being able to see some of the bottle action on the side? Oops. No, we're doing this. B, 
Beanie. I can hear you, man. I feel like we could keep going. Like another round. This might be a mistake. They're so fucking bright and nice, though. Oh, I love it. Got a slightly uneven ring there. You see that? That's the purple. Which one we were swatching, we said was swatching weird and kind of jelly-like. I mean, would I want to do just like petals? Um, can you guys hear that? Oh, hey, wait a minute. Where, what? When did that show up? Why did it go away? I didn't touch it. I did not touch that. I don't know why that was on the screen there. The The center is messy, but the outer lines are like so butter smooth. Like, this just draws so good. I like it. All right, let's uh, make sure to get some of both of these. Oh, that's a little bit of a fat fold there, self. Whew. Whew. Yeah, Benny, you settle right there. Good boy. See, and that makes, that puts me back in that insecure space, like, actually, in fact, since we are using this, <laughs> although that, that's not the stuff that it was intended to explain, but, uh, can we talk about this? You know what? Let's just, let's just go for this. Just go in consecutive, in circu circuitous, circulus, consecutive, circular, normal order. Around and around again, not back and forth. God, these are good, you guys. The per everything except for the purple receives an A+. Plus. You see this right here? That's why the purple doesn't get an A+. Plus. Um, but it's workable. In fact, I think we're going to end on purple in order to get things as even as we can. <gasps> you guys. Ah! <clears throat> Look at, just like, look at how smooth this is. Like, these are so fucking bomb. Oops. Care, gotta be careful in the center, though. They're not... They're drawing really smooth, but they're not super uh, elastic. And when I say elastic, I mean where you can like draw through them and they'll kind of bounce back a little bit. Oh, <laughs> you guys. piece of paper is so wet. I feel like this one is not quite as clean as looking as the other one, but it's still like bright and freaking great. I don't think, I think they look better next to each other in the water than they do just next to each other 
And I'm speaking particularly of the coral and the limon, which we are using instead of the orange and the yellow. I mean, maybe I almost feel like I... Like I should give the orange a try, maybe? Because, like, there's... It looks orange, but there's not actually any orange. In this one, it looks orange. It's like a blend. The There's a spot where the coral and the limon are blending into an orange in the center. The outer layers are very crisp. In the center, they tend to blur just a little bit. Even on this one, which had even extra... Well, how many how many did I do here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 on this one. Hmm. Maybe I should... Somebody said reverse the order and see if the purple is equally as problematic. It kind of seemed to be in the other one because the other one did go in both directions. Can, can I put this here, Bean, without disturbing you? So people can see the water marbles that we're working on? His head, it looks like invisible in the sun. Should I close up the... Maybe I can just... Let's do like this. Hold on, guys. Yeah. There we go. Interest look like you almost the glare you can't even almost see it there just goes to show again like we talk about like the limitations of cameras but this camera is not limiting right now use a good good camera okay we got a, we got a couple more strips here we can run a couple more tests these are like great these are great 10, 10 of 10 would recommend just for marbling I mean, whoa, oops, it's fine. It just startled me. It's when you knock polish over, as long as you don't like sit here for like 10 minutes, that's not an emergency, but it, it's kind of startling. Okay, so this one will start on the limon and work. So, okay, well, well, we'll keep going. And work over to the coral. I'm, I'm betting the purple will do that same thing in this order too though. It's a slightly waterier, slightly more jelly formula than the others, which are all very, very opaque creams. Um, it's not a bad color. It's just not, the formula is just not quite as nice as the rest of the co collection. And there was another color that was like that when I was swatching them. I kind of want to say it was the muted pink, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, see how that purple is just, it's just a little bit stubborn. So what if we come through like, like this, we could end on the blue, or I could have just stopped and like ended on the yellow. God, these are so bright. Like they look way brighter in the cup than they look in their bottles. So... Let's just draw this one out and see how it looks when we dip it. Ah, uh, it is. I can feel it's... You see how it's, like, not neat in the center? It's really wet in the center. Like, this is slightly too much. I need to... I need to... I probably should have stopped on the... On the limon. Yeah, once you get a little bit of it out, it draws cleaner. Whoops. Okay. Look at that. Fuck yeah, you guys. The I mean, I would basically 
Like the purple is the one stubborn portion of this, but it's not stubborn enough to where it's like very limiting. You just kind of need to be aware of it. Like there's so many different directions I could go with this. Maybe. I mean, if I took out the purple, I could add in an orange. Like, it would kind of make... So, this this pink here, to me, leans a little bit lavender when you don't have anything to compare it to. Just like this coral kind of could be mistaken for pink if you don't have a pink to reference it with. So, if I, like, made this kind of more pink one, the purple, and the coral, the pink, then we could put in the orange also. Let's try that. Let's try that. And let's maybe... Let's do like that. Okay. You guys want to be closer? I think I asked that already and then I didn't look if anybody actually responded. I'm getting like very focused on the marble and just ignoring chat. I apologize, you guys. Let me zoom in to make it up to you. Not quite that far. That's kind of, it's kind of intimidating. Mm. Yeah, the teal kind of stands in for green. I mean, we could, maybe we need to try and squeeze that green in here too. Ooh. The actual green. Ooh, this is going a little bit weird and lopsided. It's okay though, but a little bit weird and lopsided. So let's just like look at that smooth as, as silk and butter. This this these lines. There we cleaned it up without leaving a hole. These are drawing so smoothly, like it actually, when I get to doing this on my nail, I'm going to have to be very mindful of like what ring I'm starting at because you really do, like sometimes when you draw through colors, it feels like they don't really bring that in through with them, but you really can see all the colors that you're pulling in with this. God, you guys. And I'm just, wall. that was a horrible dip. That was the dip's fault. Fuck. That was a bad dip. And you can do that on your nail too. Like if you dip too fast, you dip at a weird angle or something. It's more more like, ignore that. Like more like this half. Oh, that's a disappointing dip. Well, I want to try with the green anyway. Oops. Sorry guys. That'll, that'll never stop happening unless I move my ring light. And if I move my ring light, I'm afraid that I'll start getting shadows on things when I'm working close up. So the ring light will probably stay pretty much here. I don't know. If I put it like up here, like I don't want to have it here, obviously, this level. If I put it up here, I don't know. I just feel like I have some, the cameras would cast shadows if I, it is like a set of Sharpie highlighters. Let's, let's, I want to go this way again. Let's try this. Okay. Start with the orange. Actually, let's clean that off. And honestly, working with all these colors together partially makes me want to, like, revisit drip marbling with them. Are you... Yeah, no. I was just checking to see if the camera was getting hot. But it's not. And it's still on. Somehow. Some fucking magically how. Um. Whew. 
like sometimes when you look at these you're like man those are pastel they're not neon but when you look at them in here you're like man those are neon they're not pastel and that's what makes them pastel neons Ooh, okay all right come on give me an even yeah yeah <gasps> all right we're just gonna do a flower even though i kind of want to do some other stuff just look at that though like you see how every ring like reacts the same and draws the same and it's like a nice even oh see right there that's like a little cat hair gotta make sure your orange stick is clean you can sometimes fix that like if you draw through it again and go a little bit deeper like that of course now this is crooked too and we'll need to like that and now they're even um like there are ways you can kind of fix and manipulate a water marble generally speaking you want to have a really light touch but if you're trying to fix something like that sometimes it can be beneficial to drag a little deeper into the design to try and like get the get the mistake to pull out properly if that makes sense i can feel it starting to get a little bit thick so it's not even something as nice as these it's not like you have infinite time you do have to get a move on Yeah, got a weird bubble that pulled out there. I don't know where that came from. And I mean, like, some of these, like, do feel, like, a bit wide. Could probably, like, split some of them. Or all of them. See, it's still smooth, but it's getting sticky. When you see it start to, like, move more in the cup as you're pulling instead of staying in place even if you're still getting like a clean draw <laughs> I'm living dangerously here you guys but I like it High, high level of concentration too high to too high to chat oh did you see that little tail as I was pulling it out now let's see if we can just oh see that that's how you should be able to close a hole It's almost like they get a little bit more elastic as they get slightly over dry. Same thing like in the middle. Like you got to be delicate. You don't want to leave a hole. You just want to like fix a hole. Make them even. Look at that string. Just settle back out. Just look at look, look at that. I love it. Oh my God. Mm. Let's let's compare. brighter than the fucking highlighters y'all and yes these are sharpie fucking highlighters they don't compare they don't they do not wait look, look i'm trying to get them wait maybe I, can i get them in beanies cam i'm trying to get them as close as possible here okay let's work with the mirror 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 camera thing oh my god there I can't hold it straight. I'm sorry. I'm trying and it just every time I do it makes it more crooked. Brighter than the highlighters is what I'm trying to demonstrate here. Poorly. Okay. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I just, I wanted to make this a little skinnier because I felt like it wasn't going to go in the cup. I got this little, I got a corner in there. It's fine though fine everything's fine 
Now, when it, when designs are kind of starting to dry like this, it can get kind of harder to dip them. <gasps> that's fine, though. That's, that's fucking fine. Y'all. Now, the problem, of course, like, is how, how, I guess if I went for, like, a corner placement, like the center of the flower in more the corner of the nail, that I could probably, at this length, get the whole rainbow on there. But that is the problem that I have with rainbow marbles. And if you're only using like one ring of each, like imagine how weird the rings would be spread out. Um, but that gets to be the challenge. But what I think might work, oh God, we're just making a mess here. Can I just take a second and clean this off? I'm so glad you did too, Sacrista. Yeah, it's, I mean, like heavy, heavy Lisa Frank vibes and just like everything freaking neon and awesome. Very spring. Sorry to anybody and everybody that's dealing with snow and shit in April. I feel you, I do, because we had snow just shortly ago. Okay, let's, uh... And I definitely like, like, that order to the colors. With the, with the very bright, like, limon, green, teal combination in the center. I mean, it would probably be super fire with, like, the orange-pink combination in the center, too. I don't think you missed the purple. Um, it, it doesn't quite trick your eye, like, between between the pink and the blue here. The blue doesn't really look purple. That's not the camera's failing. I mean, it does look blue. And this pink actually looks pinker. Like, you got the... Like, here you can see orange, coral, pink... The coral looks pinker than the pink, but the, that doesn't mean that the pink looks purple, if that makes sense. But you still get that rainbow effect. You don't have to have, like, exactly rainbow colors to get a rainbow effect. Although, it also is something of a pet peeve of mine when people call something a rainbow design that is blatantly not a rainbow. But that's another story. Because, like I said, I, I, could, I could see myself doing it also. But like generally, I want all the colors if I have if I'm having something called a rainbow. So let's just do one test of another design, and then I think I'm gonna call it a stream. And I'm still not sure if I'm going to. Oh wait, I don't have anything on my nails. I shouldn't leave my nails naked. I hadn't thought about that. Um. Hmm. Hum. Things that make you go. Hmm. Things make you go. Hmm. What is it like CNC Music Factory or some shit? Nineties babies, please help me. Oh man, I'm getting these tops so gnarly. He said, "God, I'm a slob. I'm a nail polish slob. I'm sorry." Yeah, I just hate when it's like, you know, let's let's say from from pink to blue and just leaving purple completely out. And then they go and call it a rainbow. So what if we go like up like this and down like this? What if we draw on some chevrons? Oh, we've got a hair on there. I can see a dragon. Clean you off better. Are we getting pull here? I feel like we're getting a little bit of pull. Going back and forth to where our chevrons are not even. So let's see. So those were back and forth. For the bottom, let's just do... Like this, and then like this. Can you can you see what I mean? Can you see how like um these two compared to these two, 
Like there's some, like this little weird shape right here, how it's kind of like weird and lopsided and how these are more even on both sides of their, like it, I know it, I know it's subtle. I'm aware it's like a minor, a minor thing. Um, can you please get in there? Yeah. Now, another thing is I wouldn't necessarily have to draw them quite that close. What if we just went for like, I'm trying to line my nail up without actually touching it. Like picture that chevron pointing up my nail, like that section right there. And that would make it pretty slick to and be able to see the whole rainbow on your nail too. You see when we draw them this way and we kind of skinny out the lines a little bit compared to like if you're trying to get it like on the flower. Yeah, there's the flower again. Compared to, you see what I mean? Like you could, you could easily find and get like a whole rainbow worth. Of course, if I did that... This is another thing where you like really start questioning like your order of drops because so we ended with, let me actually just get this loose again. We ended with the very bright yellow in the middle, which means that that's where the chevrons kind of return their design. Like we were d dripping the polish in the first place, but it also kind of like gets a little bit wider and not as evenly spaced as the ones toward the sides of the cup. So if you want yellow to be more highlighted in the area that's going to be on your nail, then you may have to like adjust the order that you're dripping in. <clears throat> Rainbow adjacent? <laughs> like hood adjacent? <laughs> mm. Yes, yeah, so Krista, that's exactly what I said. Thank you for agreeing with me. I'd love to have some leggings with any of this on it. I mean, oh, that one's so good. Like th this is the sort of design that makes me want to have really, really long nails again to where I could like dip in and get like, you know, like a huge, like the whole rainbow section, just like a big old chunk of it. And there are ways to do it like, it's another thing where the center is a little bit wider spread out than the edges. Like if you were to go for this edge of the petals, like more like from this blue to this blue, then like, you know, from the center outward, you see what I mean? You could, you could get, if you placed your nail like right there or like right, of course that's kind of back to the chevron shape. But if you placed your nail like right there, pushed, um, you'd get, you'd get the petal shape and you would still get most of a rainbow, but you got to consider like, you know, how wide and how long are your nails when you're just looking at these beautiful designs and going, man, I can't wait to get that on my nail. What can't you wait to get on your nail? Cause this whole thing ain't going to fit on your nail. Just like we were experiencing with the drip marbles where I said, I felt kind of like anticlimactic putting it on the nail because it's never quite as impressive as it looks to me just on the lid. And I imagine fluid art can be kind of like that too. Like even though you get to pick and choose what is the good area that you really like, um, you know, something about just, it's like you're cutting it off from its, its origins. And uh, it's just never quite the same. Still cool, but just never quite the same. Um... My nails are a mess. You know what, you guys? I think I am going to call it a stream here. Because I feel like my nails are not in a state where I want to do a manicure. I feel like I really need to give my cuticle some attention off stream. Because I know that makes people awkward at some point. Um, with all the, you know, like pushing back and possible trimming. Also because they need like a good sugar scrubbing. And I don't have any sugar scrubbing sink or sugar scrub up here. Um, but like we, I feel like we did a lot of really um like productive testing today the last time we did a testing stream it was kind of a clusterfuck i'll go ahead and say the bomb.com do they do they still say that i feel like i know that slang and so it probably still isn't isn't still slang 
All right, we need to keep these separate also. So we basically have at least three um, upcoming water marbles out of this testing. We'll, uh, like, I feel like these rainbow ones could be multiple uh, designs. Let's pull back a little bit here. I, I wonder, too, if, like, recording had anything to do with it. Like, what if I... I mean, normally, we'd be going back and forth between recording, which you guys probably notice, like, when I hit record, it kind of zooms in a little bit. That's supposed to be to, like, help with, with shaking. I should pay more attention, like, if it actually does compensate stuff like that, or if that's, like, more shaking than it's meant to compensate with, but... I don't know. I'm just pushing pushing some buttons to see if the camera continues to behave or not. And we've been going for a while with it on and you see it's still at like two notches of battery. Um naked <laughs> mm. Yeah, I I do want to do a simple manicure. In fact, what might happen, no no promises you guys. But I kind of think what might happen is that I might spend some time today like TLCing my nails and then like do a short afternoon nail stream tomorrow for just a manicure before like Hollow Night in the evening. But I don't know. I'm I'm starting to get really hungry. I I feel like all of a sudden, I don't know, does, does a look come over my face when all of a sudden I feel like my attention is no longer fully on the stream and I'm kind of distracted with like hunger pains? <laughs> Mm. yeah well you know Sacrista, i mm, part of me really likes that idea and part of me like completely rebels against that idea like it it's a very uh simple way to add some um interest as i refer to it but like some a little bit of randomness to your design without it necessarily being random just like switching the order that you're doing the colors in I also feel like, I mean, aside from rainbows, like you could certainly pick all the warm tones or all the cool tones to go all together. You could pick, you know, the the purple, pink, orange, and yellow. Or is this the pink and the coral and the orange and the yellow? I'm losing track now. I think, no, this is the purple here. This is the last one with the purple. So we have three with purple and three without purple. This fooled me. It fooled me on this one, you guys. Um... Or you could do one with, you know, just the, the blue, teal, green, limon. You might even want to throw in the regular lemon in there. Lemon. It's yellow. Limon is only limon because I don't know how else to say yellow green without, I mean, I think limon sounds better than yellow green. Yeah. I don't know. Water, water marbling is a fine balance. It, it just kind of, sometimes I even kind of have to go by mood. Like all of these all were mainly just color testing that's why they're almost all just the regular flower pattern these are like so reflective they're just playing havoc with things um i feel like that's just kind of a go-to pattern and we're just seeing like how these colors play together and how they actually look um, a lot of times my tests will look like this where it's like the same thing with just different base colors just to see how they look and then once i decide i like a look I'll see if a certain design works, or maybe if I don't know, we'll play around with different designs. These these uh these polishes got hit hard today. We also did anybody that missed the beginning of the stream, if you're interested, we did some very interesting um fluid art testing here that I think like this this is my favorite one that turned out of everything. Not just the pattern, but like the way that the the duochrome and the cream like really react together because I mean these were the same colors but you don't get that same ripple it's like they blended together too much here and like one of the other ones where they blended together a lot I don't know if I showed you guys this one on the good camera it does look very nacho cheesy but like kind of in an unappetizing kind of nacho cheese way or like this one here, which was blue and pink. Oh, there you can see a little bit of the pink. And then it flashes out and it just like the duochrome of it is too similar. This is the testing that we did with the silicone. I mean, it's dryish. Oh, it's oily. I mean, it's silicone-y. I mean, silicone isn't oil. What is, sil I mean, silicone is silicone. Is that just like what it is or is it made of something? I'm. That might be a dumb question. 
I don't know. And and it like pro, pro tip, if you ever start streaming, don't pretend to know shit you don't know. If you don't know, just admit it. You will look less dumb admitting you don't know something than you will look dumb if you like try to play off like you know something and really you don't know. So, my simple little pro tip for the day. But yeah, this I mean this looks very gnarly and like curdled we got so many different like patterns and weird things happening definitely definitely want to play with that more too so i feel like that was all productive although i don't feel like we have anything where it's like oh that's absolutely turning into a manicure we absolutely have some manicures here these ones well these ones so let me see basically plastic a sort of soft plastic but even plastic like plastic can be made out of weird things plastic can be made out of corn and then it's like compostable it's like so like can you make silicone out of corn i, d I don't know um yeah you know this is true sacrista but in in most of your life, like, you probably won't be embarrassed in front of quite as many people as you will on stream, especially if, like, you archive your streams on YouTube forever for the world to see your embarrassments forever, like I do. I don't really feel like I've had too many embarrassing moments on stream. I feel like I keep it real. I keep it within, like, what I want to do. And I, uh, I try to keep it fun. So... What do you think you got? Would you like some art? Would you like to see like some emotes being drawn? Would you like to see some uh some pottery? Would you like to When we were talking earlier, oh no, that was in Dr. Crotron's stream. I was thinking that was in my stream. We were talking about mom sayings and I was saying how my mom used to have a, a saying where she would go, uh, let's not and say you did when I would ask for something absurd. And I, I remember my grandma sometimes, if you, she would ask you if you wanted something, you'd be like, no, no, no. And she'd be like, well, how about a swift kick in the rear? And it was like, you know, obviously <laughs> not serious, but we could add that to the list of mom sayings. Um, I think we're going to keep it creative. And I think... I've, I've never rated her before. I followed her a while ago in the pursuit of following more creative people. And I don't think I've ever, in fact, I don't really know her that well. So I'm actually not going to raid. I'm just going to host, but, uh, looks like she's making some emote templates. Uh, her name is Ephralista or maybe Ephralista or maybe a different pronunciation that I cannot say. Um, maybe quick Manny stream tomorrow afternoon. If I get these things under control, or I might just decide to put a clear coat on them. That's not a promise. Um, my Hollow Knight people, it's race night tonight. Probably around 8 o'clock as usual. I'm really on the border right now. Like, if I were to participate, I would really have to hurry with dinner. And I also only got four hours of sleep last night, thanks to Luke. Um, so I don't know about that either. But if I do jump in on the races, I will for sure let you guys know in Discord. Otherwise, I'm just going to be around uh, watching the races. Um, if you don't know the difference between hosting and rating, rating sends you guys right over to the channel. Today I'm just going to be hosting, so if you like what you see, there'll be a little button you can click to go to the channel and go to their chat. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this testing. Um, sometimes I feel bad when I'm not actually doing a tutorial, but I actually had a ton, a ton of fun with this. And they will, they will become manicures. They will. They will grow up into beautiful manicures one day. I'm going to get some food. I hope you guys all have a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time it is, wherever you happen to be. And oh, good. I'm glad you think so, Ray. I'm, I really am. I'm, I'm so glad you guys hang out with me. It's like I, I might be excited to do this stuff by myself, but it's much more exciting to share the color therapy. So thank you guys all so much. And I hope I will see you all next time. Oh, what a cute alert. It's a sloth.
Yes, the sloth gang. I forgot her her uh, gang was full of sloths. Um. Um, oh, let's wrap up. <clears throat> anyway, before I forget... Um, YouTube people, I love all you guys too. Having this outro helps me remember to quit streaming, which I've had trouble with before. And uh, there'll be some things here to click. I hope you guys enjoyed all the testing and the shenanigans and the complaints. And uh, um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. It seems silly when I say it on a live stream. It's less natural than during the tutorial, but whatever.